How would you like to watch live NBA basketball games as well as live NFL American football games on your iOS device without having to sign in at all? Today, I'm going to show you how to install two apps that allow you to get free memberships to NFL Red Zone, NFL Game Pass, NFL Season Plus, NBA League Pass, and NBA Team Pass. You can be anywhere, and you can watch any live sport, whether it's local, regional, in another state, in your state, whether it's a team you love, or whether you hate the team and you just want to root against them. My name is Dave from AskUncleDave.com, and today I'm going to show you how to do that. So in order to get cracked apps on your iOS device, when it's not jailbroken, you have to use what's called co-signing. Now Apple allows co-signing for developers who want to test out their beta apps. iPawnStore happens to be one of those developers. So in the app itself, this is an, a third-party app store, uh, they have an assortment of different apps that you can install. They will co-sign it to your particular UDID, your individual uh, unique ID that your device has. You install a certificate and you download the app store. And then you have access to all of these apps here. I made other videos about the service, uh, how you can get the premium versions of like Spotify, Pandora, Deezer, and even Napster. You can get Popcorn Time, Cody, a whole bunch of different versions, and Movie Box, and a whole bunch of different apps that you can also get free TV and free movies. Now, here in the App Store, they have the new ones. These are the 2016 NBA app and the NFL Game Pass. So in this app, uh, there is a IPA manager. And if you click on a particular app that you're interested in installing in your device, uh, you hit that particular app and you hit add to library. So what it'll do is it'll add it right to your iOS library um, and add it right to your device right to your device when you're ready. So we hit IPA manager and we can click that install button and it will install onto your springboard just the way you would if you were doing it from the Apple App Store. So now that we have them on there, uh, we can open them up and they'll have the credentials already built in. You won't even be able to see them and you don't even have to sign in yourself. You just go to the games that you want to watch, every single one of them and watch them. Okay, so the, the apps that the iPawn Store App Store installed on my device are not even the American versions of the app. They're actually apps from the UK that have been modified. Uh, it's not a problem running it on your device if you live here in the States. Um, this here are the American versions, but they're pretty much the same thing. That's why you won't find the NFL Game Pass uh, app in the American App Store. But nevertheless, you download them and you have access to all the games. Now, I recommend that you use a VPN service. A VPN service uh, is only a couple bucks a month. And you install an app on your iOS device. And you basically can select a server. And you go and choose which one you want to use. I will use something in the United States, maybe uh, the other side of the country. Uh, the continent and then you just basically turn it on and it will uh, have your credentials in it and it'll turn it turn it on now whenever you play with the NBA or the NFL app uh, the um, NFL and the NBA will not know where you're actually playing this from your IP address which is the information that they get so they know who your service provider is and they know generally where you are and they report that IP address and you get in trouble jail time big large fines but if as long as you're running a VPN you shouldn't have to worry about that okay when you're using the VPN service you don't have to worry about it not airplane to your Apple TV 
as long as your Wi-Fi is connected to the same Wi-Fi, you'll be able to AirPlay, regardless if you're using a VPN. I just want you to know that. So here are a bunch of games that played yesterday. And the one on top there, Carolina and Washington, is going to start uh, soon, very soon. Uh, so here is the menu. And you can see that we have Red Zone. So we can click on Red Zone, and you can see all your Red Zone games, like the one that was on last uh, night. It's on every Sunday. Uh, you also can even sign in to your face, uh, for your fantasy uh, football games. And you can see the network here, and you can play with the network guide if you wanted to, and you could see what's going on live right now. So if we go back to games, we click on games and we'll see our games here. Now, since we don't have a game running currently right now live, uh, you can actually download games as well to play offline. You click on the little arrow with the little box underneath it, and it'll actually let you download uh, right to your device. So we can actually just stream it. So we'll hit this. And it gives you a play-by-play, -play. it gives you the summary, and it gives you some stats, if you like. Now you can watch the broadcast version, the condensed version, and the coach's uh, film uh, version. That's like uh, on the side. Uh, you see it here. Now it won't let me play the broadcast one here on my device because I'm hooked in to my screen recording. I would have to show you that uh, after when we're not uh, screen recording, okay? And I'm gonna show you that when I demo the AirPlay of this. So let's go back to the games and you can see that you can play all sorts of stuff with this. You can go to your downloads. I already downloaded this one and this will play offline. And you can go into settings and you're gonna see my account that your subscription is currently active, even though I never even touched it. Okay, so let's go into the NBA app now, and you can see that today uh, we have about five games uh, going to be played. Right now there's four playing, and uh, the fifth one will start at 9 p.m. So uh, we have tabs down at the bottom. You can see all the latest uh, news. And then you have videos, and you can watch videos by these topics here. And then uh, you have standings, so you can check out the standings for the league for the conference and for division. And then you have more here, and that more is like settings. So it's asking us to sign in or create an account, and we don't have to. Uh, it's already built in. Uh, if you hit the gear here, uh, you can get notifications, do all that stuff. You can see the scores uh, or hide the scores. Um, and that's you know pretty much it. You ask you to get the league pass, uh, but we don't have to do all that because uh, we're already logged in so uh, you can watch different games so say for instance we we'll watch this game here that's going on live right now um, we can see they have all the uh, comparison for the team matchup box scores and highlights and play-by-plays and if I wanted to I can uh, click here and go to the other games so if I wanted to watch the Bulls and the Pistons I could do that and I can hit play here and you could do the Pistons feed or Bulls feed. Uh, that's just, uh, you know, more in tune to your team that you want to see. Or you could just hit mobile view. Now, once again, it won't show you probably uh, the game uh, until I take it off screen recording. And we're going to do that right now. So uh, we still get to see all the games, all the information, even though we're not signed in because that's the way the app is cracked. So now let's take it off screen recording. Keep our VPN on, and I'll show you how to airplay them uh, and how they uh, look on the app, uh, the games. Forgive the crudeness of my filming. Uh, I don't have a great camera to record this. Uh, but here we have the app, so we're going to open up NFL. And we're still connected to the VPN. We'll head back into the popular games. Um, we'll go to games right up here. And you can see all the games that played yesterday. Now here's today's game. And we can actually hit that. And we can hit our play button. And you can see that it'll start playing. Uh, the game will start soon. That's what it says. But we click here and we can hit our airplay button. And you can pick from the list down here. 
Apple TV and it will start to play right on the Apple TV showing exactly what it uh, showed on the screen now um, since that game hasn't started yet let's go to the NBA game okay so here we have the four games that are playing right now and one starting at nine let's go to the Bulls game here so we go to the Bulls game and we can hit watch now and we're gonna do the mobile feed and oh, it's still connected to uh, airport airplay so there it is up on the screen and I can uh, put the volume up a, a little bit and there it is so let me take it off of airplay we'll just hit this button here and we'll go back to the phone and there goes the game there you can turn it sideways like this and you get a nice picture but of course like I said this is all pre-game stuff for the Bulls or um, you know just the beginning of the game not the actual game let's find something that's in session already and we'll go to something else we'll click on something that's been on longer and let's do Pacers feed this time and we'll get a Pacers feed right there and we're gonna hit this and we're gonna hit Apple TV and there it's gonna play right on the Apple TV at first it's crappy quality but then it gears up and connects its connection gets faster and you get a nice uh, airplay I can put the volume up on my external and we're watching the game all this without having to even be signed in to the app see here I'm not even signed in. So, enjoy. Make sure you pick up a VPN service. Make sure you pick up the iPawn store and download these great apps And as long as uh, you do the right thing. And uh, make sure you share this video, like it, and subscribe. There's more to come. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.